Good morning, ladies. This is Paula back again to show you uh, something fun I discovered. It's decoupage, and I know the majority of you out there have done it before, but I just put a little different twist on it. And so I had fun doing it, and I thought I'd share with you how much fun it is. So let's get started. We're going to do these little birds, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do modeling paste. Now, I've already done this when it was an extra from the last time I did it, but simple, simple, simple. You just want to make sure as soon as you're done with your modeling paste, you put your stencil right into water. So I have a bucket of water over here beside me, or you could run it to your your sink. Um, either one is, is fine. Um, so we're going to use this heart um, stencil that I got from Simon Says Stamps many years ago. And I haven't used it that much, but I've been using it now because I just love it. Um, so you decide on here where you want your modeling paste to be. I um, I kind of like to leave not as many at the bottom as at the top because that's where I'm going to put my bird. So I'm going to start at the top. Oh, and I just remembered. I'm going to turn this one sideways because I want to put this in a bird journal that I'm going to be making. And so I'm going to do it across the way, but the thick, heavy hearts up here, I'm going to move up a little bit so we don't have too much thickness of modeling paste. We might have to do two rows here in order to keep it from um, being too much. Okay, so I'm going to kind of scoot it up. A little bit maybe just make it even with the bottom of the the bag now that might be kind of hard for you to see because it's all white but um, just hold your stencil where you want it and you just put it on like you would put on any kind of paste anything like if you were doing your walls and spackling or whatever not that I ever do that because I have never done that, but I've seen it done. <laughs> um, I would rather spackle in my craft room. Thank you very much. Um, anyway, so I, I probably got too much, but that's all right. Better to have enough than not a, to have enough. So, and you want to make it as flat as possible you know it doesn't really matter but I like to make it flat I hope I didn't just mess that up now you want to lift straight up oh and it looks good I'm gonna kind of wipe this off on the sides because before I put my stencil in water I'm gonna come over to this other side and try to even it up the best I can and add some more. Let's see where I was here. I know I was at the bottom. So let's see if I can put it right here without messing up the whole stencil. If I do, no big deal. This is just a demo. The reason I turned it on its side was because I want to be able to fold it and bind it down the middle. Now you can decide how you want to do yours. You may want to just do them all small and just slip them into your journals. But I like to try different things. Now I just set that over into the, um, the bucket of water. I'm going to wipe this up. And I'm going to clean up my, my tool. Now... I like these big flat ones and I'm going to just wipe it off. I could have put it back in the, and I should have put it back in the 
the uh, container, but I'm just going to toss it in the water with everything else. Get this off of me. Okay, now the next thing is put your lid back on your spackle. Uh, back on your <laughs> now I'm calling it spackle. Put your lid back on your modeling paste and move it aside. You won't need that anymore for today. Okay, now we need this to dry. You can see right in here where I kind of messed up the hearts a little bit. And that's where I tried to overlap, and that's okay because it's not going to be that obvious. We're just going for texture, and it just gives it a different look, and so that's, that's all I'm going for. Okay. So I'm going to lay this back down here, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to turn the heat gun on for a minute. I'm sorry, guys. It won't take that long, hopefully. Going to dry the best you can, and believe it or not, it really doesn't take all that long. I hope you guys have had a good week. You had a busy week. And I hope your 4th of July was great. I sit in the house and watch, I can't even remember, on television, and my husband stood on the back patio, and it's like a, going to the ball game or something in our backyard. There's so many fireworks. But it was too hot for me. I passed on watching it. I looked at a few of them through the window, but I'm just past all that firework thing. Let me check this and see if it's it's still it's still wet. So while we're letting it get dry a little bit here on its own will start getting stuff mixed up okay so the first thing we got to do um then or the next thing we have to do is uh, we're going to lay some paint across our bag now i like using i'll show you here on my sample i liked using the pink and you could use, like with this guy, you could use blue. But I just thought the pink was pale and it just worked better for me. So that's what color I'm going to use today is because I like that the best. But you could try anything you want. I'm going to use the packaging technique. I don't know if any of you have ever done that. I'm sure you've seen it somewhere. So I walked right over here without my package. Let me grab one. like a lot of people I don't throw anything away so you just need some old packaging and of course this is a lot bigger than I need so I'm gonna cut it in half because I don't want to have to have paint going everywhere and um, that way and if you wanted to change colors in between you could do that so I'm gonna get our paint ready and then uh, we'll move on and do the small one first and then hit the dryer on um, the big one one more time. Okay, so I have these little painting bowls that I use. I've had them forever. And I'm going to use the Heidi Swap, um, what is this called? It's a raspberry color. But it's just like an acrylic paint. It's by American Crafts. Um, it really doesn't give it a name. So I'm, I'm going to say it's paint. Or acrylic paint. Um, the tag is on here and it, I think it's covering up the information we need. Oh no, it's not. It's, it's, um, 
Hmm. It doesn't say. I'm sorry, guys. I just grabbed a couple of these at Tuesday morning. And I had never tried them. And I just thought, well. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit from the tube. The thing you need to know about this is it sparkles. Now, it doesn't overly sparkle. Okay. But it sparkles enough that I really like it. <laughs> I like the way it looks when it sparkles. Now, I'm going to add some water into this bowl. I'm going to bring it up a little bit because I want to get my paper too awfully wet. I'm just using my spritzer by um, Ranger or Tim Holtz. Let's see here. I can get it mixed up. It's kind of thick, like a lot of acrylic paints that are in a tube, but that's okay. Now, you might be able to see there that it's um, sparkling a little bit, but I'm going to add a little bit more water so that it's not too much pink okay now <laughs> we'll see what's going to happen here i don't have any scraps to put in between my bag but you know what i'm just going to take a chance Hopefully, it won't run between the bag. I came really prepared today. <laughs> but I just open it up so it's not so tight on the bag. Now, I'm going to move this big one out of the way just for a moment while we work on this one. And you can take your paintbrush and load it up and then just kind of... Put it on your bag however you want. There's no rhyme or reason. And then I just flip it over. And just rub it down into the bag. And you can leave it on there as long as you want till you feel like you got as much as you desire on here. And then just pull it off. Now, I think I want just a little bit more in the upper right hand corner. So, I'm just going to paint a little bit more here and here. And maybe here. <laughs> the better the... The better the swashes, the more paint. Okay, let's just see what happens. Hopefully we don't run it. There's, you can't run this. You might have more paint than you would want, maybe. But, um, there you go. Okay, so there is where we're going to leave that one. And I'm going to wipe off the table so that this can now see that was really simple so i'm going to go ahead and save this paint for our big um sack and in the meantime i'm going to dry and i'm going to put them side by side so i can be drying both of them and maybe our modeling paste will be ready by then I know you guys, a lot of you guys on YouTube, especially, you know, the journalist people, do a lot of embellishing and use a lot of decoupaging. I'm so glad because I really, really enjoy it. It just always gives you good results. It's rare, you know, for it to turn out bad. Because... There's not a bad way to do it. I mean, you're going to get something different every time. 
and um, and that's nice. Almost done here. Now, if you wanted to, you could use a paintbrush instead of packaging technique. But I kind of like that it gives it a different look. And, um, and this one is the one that we were turning on its side. So I'm going to use the other packaging that I had there. Okay. Mix this up a little bit more. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more water too because I think I would like it better if it wasn't, the paint was thinner. And um, I noticed on the other one that it's a darker paint than my first ones were. And I want it to be, I'm really putting water in there. I want it to be just really watered down. Okay, we'll see if that's enough. Hopefully it's not too much water. Okay. Now, move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing down here. Just going to kind of just put it all around. Thicker in some places. It just depends on what you want. Okay. Now, I'm going to start to the left of the bag and then we can always work our way up. Now it looks like we're going to, I'm going to let it roll a little bit around, but that way we don't have paint in just one place. I just kind of squish it with my fingers. Now, if you want, you can just take the, what's left on your bag and put it at the top where it's white. And yes, this is messy, but it's fun. I don't want big blobs if I can keep from getting big blobs. Okay, and up on the top here, just going to see if I can get it a little bit lighter. I like the how it just gives you the ridgy look. I'm just going to put a little bit more on my the one portion of my bag because the top doesn't have quite enough. And then we'll be done with that part. It still doesn't want very much. I think it's happy with the way it looks. Now, I didn't put quite this much on the first one I did, but, um, and you can do multiple colors if you want. I just want to stick with the one color. Um, that's up to you on what you do as far as that goes. But it depends on what project you're working on. I'm work going to be working on a bird project. Does it have pink in it? I don't know. And I don't really care. I kind of like a variety of colors. So... It acts like it wants to run. If you look at it, you can kind of see that it wants to run. 
but if you want don't want that look you can send it back or send it a different direction altogether yeah I did put a lot more paint on this one than I did my first batch but I just think it's fun This is just a white paper bag from Hobby Lobby. This big one is. And this small one is a glassine bag. So, you know, they always have their own look. I just thought I'd try different ones. Okay. Now, you can also do... Oh, my hot gun just doesn't want to stand up. Okay. You can also do... And I... I was going to mention this to you earlier. You can do them on cards. You can do them on uh, tags. And it just depends on what you want. And I think I'm, I think, let's try, hmm, I'm thinking out loud here. That can be good or bad. Um, I was going to say, let's try some blue. But I think I'll stick with the pink because um it's safe right now for my project and so i'm going to get my bag back out and now we did not do um the modeling pace on these so i'm think let me think maybe we'll do just a little bit of modeling paste just a little bit but you don't even have to do it where your project's going to be. You can, you can do your modeling paste anywhere, you know. Now, I just I already put my other stencil away. So, I'm just going to see what's... There's some here on my desk. Um, let's just do... Since we did hearts on that, let's do some flowers. Some flowers with polka dots. And this time, I'll try not to waste any. Okay, so I'm going to put my bird down at the bottom. So let's just kind of put some flowers around. Flowers and um, polka dots. Try not to go as heavy. Now, you don't, I mean, if you want to cover the whole portion of this, you can. I'm just going to do a little bit here on the top. And maybe just a little tiny bit at the bottom. Now, sometimes it's a little hard to, um, to do a... Um, A tag and not get it everywhere <laughs> especially the modeling paste but that's part of the messy part that's the fun part okay so I'm gonna throw that one in the water and we'll move on to a different one for the next one okay let me pick this up while these are drying um, you really have to get at the modeling paste, you know, and get it cleaned up because it, it'll be like concrete <laughs> if you don't. Okay, I'm going to move this back. And also a card. Now, this card has not been tea stained. And I did that on purpose because, you know, sometimes I did it before with a tea stained um, card and it just looked too dark so it's it just you know again it's your preference whatever you would like to use let's do um, <laughs> let's do the polka dots that's different let's see let's just kind of put them at an angle so they don't look perfect
This is not my strong suit doing this backling as I told you before. Now I I can st stencil all day, but um, doing perfect spackling is not. If you don't do it all the time, you're not gonna get perfection like you would. Like see, I got, let me wipe this off. Or see if I can wipe it off. And that's okay. We'll just spread it out just a little bit on there. And I'm just gonna do a little bit, maybe about like that on this one or this side. I think what I do wrong is like sometimes I think I just get too much on my, I don't even know what you call these. <laughs> anyway, but I'll find out. Okay, I'm tossing that in my water, tossing the stencil in my water, putting the lid on my modeling paste, and I just use uh, Liquitex modeling paste from um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, and I guess I better clean up my, my mat. I bought a new net mat because the first video I did with you guys, my old mat was half this size and couldn't get a lot accomplished. So I'm just cleaning off the edges there and let's dry. Just a little bit. The flowers are cute. These aren't perfect, but like they have some sunken places in them, but that's okay. Our junk journals aren't supposed to be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna let those dry a little bit more while we move on to um, the next um, part of the bag, of uh, the, the bags. Okay. And then we can use, we'll paint the others. It's all the same procedure. I mean, you know, you, you do them the same way. So the next part is going to be putting on the Mosh Posh. And we all know that that is a lot of fun and a lot of mess and stickiness. Trying to find a place to lay that where I don't get it everywhere. Now, you will, um, I forgot to put my paintbrush up from the pink paint. Let that soak in there. Okay, you'll want to decide which bird goes where. Now, I haven't really decided that. Um, I um, just took a napkin that had four birds and these were so cute, you guys. I got them on Etsy, and I don't have the name of the person right in front of me, but they're adorable. And here's a little brown guy. This does not work well, I'll tell you, on brown uh, bags. This is the guy I tried on brown bags, and... That was a mistake. Okay. And then here's a little yellow guy. I think I'm going to put the, um, the little yellow guy on this bag, the small bag. See what happens with him. I'm going to decide where we want him. 
I think if we put him right there and then come back and I just tore some flour off and then just put some flour down by his feet. Just trying to see which way it looks best. Or you could put it at the top if you wanted. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do, be, do that and do something different. I don't know if I like that or not. Let's get the bird on first. And then decide. Okay. So, usually what I do is I put a little bit of Maj Paj. Now, I've added some water to this. And hopefully my brush... I've added some water to it because... The last time I used it, it was so thick that I couldn't even do anything with it. Well, I did, but I it just didn't cooperate as well. I just wet the back, lay my bird on there, or whatever napkin you're using, and then just paint over him. Try not to drown him. It's going to wrinkle. You know, that's just part of it. But don't keep going over it because it really will wrinkle if you do that. So just give him one good coat. I like the way it looks when it wrinkles. And then I just kind of go over the bag because I like that feel, how it feels when you, you do the whole bag. I like that. Kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. Rubbery <laughs> kind of feeling. And um, I like the way it makes it feel. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry. As you can see there. Oh, got to put his flower on. Can't forget his flower while it's wet. Okay, where did we want that? Oh, let's just stick it up here. Just be different. Let's stick it up here. And it's wet enough uh, underneath that I didn't even have to. There you go. Okay. Let's set him to, to the side. And bring our ba other bag over here closer. And then we'll have to dry them because... We're not going to have space for the other two to work on them here if we don't. Okay. Now this one, I think I had decided I was going to put the pink one, the one with pink flowers, or the one with blue and pink. I think I'm going to do that one. I like that one on there. Okay. We'll go with that. Let me make sure you guys can see here. All right. So, just kind of do a square here. And we'll put him on there. His branch is kind of at an angle. Well, I just dropped him down and he landed in the right place. That wasn't where I was aiming, but it worked. Sometimes I surprise myself. You want to make sure when you use napkins to decoupage that you pull them apart some of them are, are two-ply, some of them are three-ply, and I believe this is the one I discovered was four-ply. So, you don't want it to be um, the napkin to be thick. You want it to just be one-ply. You just have to be real careful so you don't tear up your image. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the bag so it all looks 
the same. If I can find a place to hang on to it without getting all over myself. And go right there. See if I can kind of lift the bag up. Don't really want to stick the bag down, so I'm just going to put a little bit there. Okay, I think I got it all. We'll know when we're done. If we didn't, we can just go back and do it. Okay, I'm going to hold this one up so you can see. If you notice on here, on this little bird, see he has sprinkles around him. Well, we're going to add more because it looks weird for him just to have sprinkles and there not be sprinkles anywhere else. But I think we're just going to do the, the little black sprinkles like what's on him. And let me hold this other one up and then we're going to dry them. Okay, let's get that, the dryer out. And we'll, we'll end up sprinkling them all when we're done. We'll do that last. That's messy. I always love decoupaging because when you're finished, you're always, it just seems like you're always happy with it. I work on this big bag now. If you wanted to, you could, when the front dried, dries completely, you could flip it over and, you know, decorate it as well. And especially if you're going to put it in your book and you're going to bind it into your book, you could. I'm not going to do that. I think it's too much. You could just put the decoupage on it if you wanted it to have that same... I call rubbery feeling. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, I'm just going to make sure our little glassine bag isn't... Yeah, I think I... Th these little bags, you really need to put something inside them. And I didn't. But it's not bad. Okay, it's no big deal. Um, it still opens. Okay, that's this little fella. Okay, now here's this little guy. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but they're so cute. Now, let me see if this is dry enough. We're just going to make it be dry enough. And let's get this off there. I want my new my new tag uh, my new mat to last. <laughs> Past today okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the the paint and I'm just again gonna stick with the same paint although I still felt like it was darker than it was last time if you look at last time I did it it was lots lighter than this time so I'm going to try to use just my brush and see what happens this time, okay? Which means I can um, water down my brush and before I put it into the, the paint and I think it'll make a difference. I'm actually going to put, kind of dip some water into it as I'm doing that out of my water jar. Mix it up a little bit more. And really, I, I don't want to say use a dry brush because it's not a dry brush, 
but similar to that, you know, just, just kind of do quick brush strokes. And you mostly want to get it over your modeling paste. See, I already like that better, personally. So let's, it's not as dark, and I, I like that look better. So I'm gonna wet my brush again, so this one will be the same way. Kinda mix it up a little bit. Then drag all the paint I can off. And I'm just doing fast strokes. I'm not like pushing down really hard onto the the tag. I'm just kind of, you know, reloading and going back and forth and doing it really quickly. And the nice thing about doing it this way, you can get it to look however you want. And, and that's nice. Now, don't you agree this one? That's much better. I think so. But the other one is definitely um, usable. So, you know, there won't be a problem using it at all. So I'm going to dry these real fast. And they're not very, they don't have very much paint. So they won't take very long. You do have to have a heat gun or a lot of patience. If you look, I don't know if you can see it on camera, that it glistens, and I love that part about it. Sometime today, I'm going to um, put a video on showing a, a journal that I have finished, very vintage old journal the cover is very old and it turned out really pretty okay now i'm going to dry the card if you look around this one circle right here with the darker amount it's really shiny i think i'm going to open up that card a little bit it's easier to hold At the end of the video, I hope you will have enjoyed this video and will give me a thumbs up. And, you know, I'm really trying to build my set at my channel, so if you would subscribe, it would I would appreciate it so much. It would help me out a lot. Okay, now let's get on to the next part, which is putting the little birds on with decoupage. Now this one is, I've already decided he's coming over He's going to be on here. And that's why I left that space right there kind of bare for him. So let me get my brush that I was using for decoupage. Okay. And let's go over it right in here where he will be standing. put him right in here now the branch that he's on is going straight across so that worked out perfect kind of brush over him again these, na uh, these napkins are real thin so you have to be a little patient with him He'll tear real easy if um, you overload him or press too hard. But I like the little imperfections that it makes. Now I'm going to go in up here and do the top part of the tag. Cute, cute. Sticky and messy, but cute. All 
All right, I'm gonna hold him up so you can see where he's at so far. I think I like those little flowers with him better than the little hearts. Okay, now let's do the card. But let's get this off the, the map first. Okay. Now this is going to be our little brown, kind of boring, scary looking little bird. Kind of reminds me of the Cowardly Lion on the Wizard of Oz. Here he goes. Let's get him out here. And let's see. I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put him in, in the parts that I'm going to open this up rather than closing it. Okay. See the mistake I made right here along that section? I'm just going to cover that up. So that's going to be real easy to hide my little boo-boos, which I make them. It's not a secret that I do. Okay, let's put him on first without his, his little flower. Let's see, let's go down and... The thing I like about this is just when you think you're done, you think of something else you want to do to it, and every uh, step makes it that much more fun and makes it look that much more better. Okay, now we're going to put this little flower on him. I can't remember. Did we decide to put him, put it on the... Lower portion or the top portion? Let's see. I think I like the I like the little dots up there, so I think we're gonna put it right here. It's, it's gonna cover his foot a little bit. He doesn't really look like the flower type, but I was gonna dress him up a little bit because he looks so bleh. He just doesn't look very happy. Let's give him a little happiness here. Okay, I'll, when this dries, I'll trim off all these outer pieces that are hanging off. Okay, now we're going to have to put that in water, but let's wipe this off real quick. And then I'll hold him up and let you see him. Much more handsome. Of course, he's still kind of rounded because he's wet, but he looks way better than he did. Let's dry him. if he's dry enough to move on. Still a little wet. Not much. But it's going to be okay because the next step we're going to do is the splatters. So, <laughs> the splatters is the messy part, the part that we all love. Um, and I'm going to get my splatter, um, I think I'm going to get my splatter box down so that I don't completely destroy the place. Give me just one second, I'm going to grab it. Now, 
I know I've showed you guys this splatter box before. It's the best thing I've ever done is um, come up with this. And honestly, I didn't come up with it, but I mean, I did come up with it in my house. So I'm just going to put him right there. This little guy right here. They don't have to be any direction. And this one here. And I'm just going to lay him. Yeah. Let's see if I can keep him from... Might have to do him like this. Because he's still wanting to curve around a little bit. I know what I'll do. I'll change places. Let's put him back here. Mm, still doesn't matter. There we go. A little better. It doesn't matter. Okay. So now I'm going to um, take my black paint. Which I left across the room. Let me grab it. That's so funny because I, I double checked everything and I left my black across the room. So we're going to get another little bowl and I put a little bit of black paint in it. Not a lot. You don't need a lot because we're going to add a lot of water. If I can get it to cooperate. I never squirt anything out like I'm supposed to. Let me put the lid on because if I don't, everything will be black. Okay, now let me get my squirt bottle. I'm just going to keep squirting and squirting until this is very, very watery. And, um, and then I'm going to sprinkle. You know, sometimes when I do this, I will sprinkle a lot of different colors. And this time I'm not. I'm just going to do the black because of time's sake, because we're getting close to an hour now. Um, I try not, I don't want to bore you guys to death, so I try not to go more than that. But I also, I don't know if you're like this, but I like to um, get in some brushes. I like to be able to... Um, watch the whole video and I like step by step you know when I watch videos because I feel like I learn better when I do step by step okay now the smaller the brush the smaller the splashes so let's start off small and see what we get okay you get a larger brush and you tap there we go see I know you can probably see all those coming down smaller the brush, the smaller the, the uh, splatters. I'm backing up a little bit because I don't want to get, I didn't put my apron on. And I, I mean, you put as many as you want. Try not to go too crazy. It's hard when you start seeing it because it looks so cute. Okay. Uh... I think I'm gonna go ahead and add one more color because I don't like just the black. So the question is, do we add black? Not black, do we add, I think we're gonna add white or we're gonna add gold. It's gonna be white. Okay, because I think I got just a little bit, um, just a little bit too much water in that one. So this time I'll be more careful not to do that. And I got, I didn't get enough paint and sometimes that can